In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do some keyword research using some free tools that are available on the internet. Keyword research is a good thing to do because it allows you to see the sort of things people are searching for on the search engines, and that in turn can then inspire you to create some content around those terms, and if all goes well, you'll end up getting ranked and getting a bit of traffic too. So, let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. So I did a live stream yesterday. There was a few technical issues with the sound, um, but I think I've got them all fixed now, so next time it's gonna be much better. But anyway, on that stream, uh, Marcus joined me. He's got a YouTube channel, it's called The Affiliate Marketing Dude, and he's really good with affiliate marketing. And one of the things he was talking about was keyword research, and the fact that if you wanna rank on the search engines, you wanna create content around long tail searches. So they're searches with you know four, five, six words in them where people are looking for something quite specific. Because that way, if you create some content around those searches, um, there's generally not much competition. So the chances of getting ranked are you know, greatly increased rather than trying to rank for you know, one or two word phrases um, that everyone's trying to rank for and there's a lot of competition and it's very difficult to get traffic from. So. Following on from that, I thought it's a good idea to show you guys how I do uh, a little bit of long tail research. I'm gonna be using two tools today, they're both free. And uh, one of them is the Google AdWords keyword tool. So if you don't have an AdWords account, you will need to set one up. And I think in order to get access to the full version, you may need to run an ad or two. Um, but don't worry about that, you can just spend you know, a very small amount and get access to the full uh, tool. And also you'll get a bit of traffic from those ads. By the way, I do have some Google AdWords vouchers available. Um, the last time I checked, you got $75 or 75 pounds worth of clicks if you spent 25 pounds or $25, obviously, depending on your currency. So if you want one of them, then leave a comment below or something and uh, we'll sort something out and I'll email you over a voucher. But anyway, I think that's enough looking at my face. Uh, let's get on the computer. It's pretty quick and it's pretty easy. And yeah, we should all be done in a few minutes. So let's get started on some keyword research. Okay, so the first tool I'm gonna to be using today is this one, it's called answerthepublic.com. It's a free tool. You might have seen it before, I mentioned it in a previous video. I'll put a link to that video. Uh, if you're interested, I cover a few more keyword tools in that. I think there's seven or so. So do check that out if you want to play around with a few more really cool tools. But this one is really good because it allows you to find some of those long tail keywords. It sorts it into questions and, and all sorts of different searches. So I, I really like it. So to start, we just need to enter something into this box, um, a keyword related to our website, related to our niche or niche if you're American. So those of you that watch my channel on a regular basis will know that I've got a Amazon affiliate website. It's called Boot Boutique and it's all around ladies boots and I need some content for that site. So I'm gonna do some research around that particular uh, topic. So in this box, you don't wanna put anything too broad in. So for example, for me, I wouldn't put boots in or ladies boots. I'm gonna be more specific. Uh, you know, you could maybe type in a color, brown boots, um, or you know, something to do with a particular uh, product line or a brand, uh, which is what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna do a search around um, Ugg boots, which is one of the brands that I've got on my site. And then I'm gonna click get questions and give it a few moments. There we go, and it's come up with some stuff. I don't know why these numbers aren't filled in. There's obviously more than zero questions. Let me just do a refresh, that might fix that. There we go, 138 questions. I like to view it uh, by data, I think it's a bit clearer. So here we go, here's some great ideas for articles. Um, these are all real keywords, you know, what people have been searching for uh, recently. So these are all the how, they're the why, they're the are. So loads of different questions. And then down here, we've got um, the prepositions. Um, so yeah, loads of other keywords. And then here we've got comparisons, which are really good um, for, for articles. So Ugg Boots versus Timber, or Ugg Boots or Timberlands, that kind of thing. 
So I'm already thinking of some good, <laughs> how we could do some good content around those. But the thing is with this tool, it doesn't give you an indication um, of the volumes. So we don't know which of these um, terms are searched for on a regular basis and which ones are not used uh, very often. So this is where the AdWords keyword tool comes in. And we can use that to get an idea of volume. So in order to get this information into the AdWords keyword tool, I'm gonna to come up here and go to download CSV. Now, um, the AdWords tool does have a limit of, um, I think 700 or so words. I'm just gonna rename this so that I know what it is. Ugg boots, answer the public. So you may need to edit the, the file. In fact, you need to edit the file anyway just to clean it up. So let's just pop that into Excel. I'm gonna get rid of this bit at the top. I'm gonna get rid of this bit at the top too. I'm gonna to get rid of these two, um, these two first column things, don't need them. And then let's just see how many we've got. Let's say, I think AdWords is limited to 700, so if you've got over 700, you're gonna to need to do it in a couple of uh, goes, as it were, break it down into multiple files. So let's just remove all these that are below there for now. I mean, I would probably just copy and paste them into another file, but for now I'm just gonna delete them. Come back to them later, maybe. Oh, that didn't quite delete, did it? Hang on. Right, here we go, delete. Okay, so now we've got our 700 uh, keywords. Let's just save it. Then let's go into AdWords. I've already got it open here. Now I've got an account. I have run some ads through it, not recently, um, but I think in order to access the keyword tool, you are gonna need to maybe spend a little bit on ads, which is good because you get a bit of traffic, um, but don't spend too much, just enough to get access to the keyword tool. Um, if you want a voucher for AdWords, leave uh, a note in the comments below this video and I'll do my best to hook up with you and send you a voucher. So to access the tool, we go into the little spanner here and then under planning, there's keyword planner. And the tool that we want is get search uh, volume data and trends. And go to option two, upload a file, get the file. Down here you can select your targeting, whether it's uh, you know UK, US, whatever country you like. You can add some negative keywords if you want. Uh, show average monthly searches for the last 12 months, that's fine. Let's go. Okay, so here's the data. We can see that there's definitely a trend um, in the searches increase in the winter, which you'd expect. Uh, people don't often wear boots in the summer. Um, so yeah, November and December are the, the busiest months. And then down here we've got all our keywords. And what we wanna do is sort it by uh, the monthly searches. So I'm just gonna click on that. And here we go. Scrolling down, we can now get some ideas for our content. So uh, Ugg boots for men, could be a good idea for an article. Leather Ugg boots, again, choosing products, making a list, um, putting together a nice bit of content around uh, the best leather Ugg boots. Baby Ugg boots, girls Ugg boots, uh, children's Ugg boots, Ugg waterproof boots, Ugg boots with bows, that's a very specific term. And um, I doubt there's much content on Google around that, so you could create a nice article. Linking off to products, linking off to Ugg boots with bows, if there is such a thing. Um, and if there isn't, then you create a bit of content, you know, maybe just saying that there isn't any and here's some alternatives, that kind of stuff. But yeah, we scroll down, and this average monthly search just gives us an idea of the volume. I mean, I would still create articles for this stuff down here, even if it's got like 480 or 390, because bearing in mind that is an average. So, you know, in the winter months, that's probably gonna be quite a bit higher. Um, and, you know, the less volume, in theory, the less competition. I wouldn't worry about this competition column. It always says high in AdWords for some reason. But yeah, so that's about it. Now we've got our list. Um, you can, if you want, you can kind of add a little plan over here. So um, you get an idea of um, the keywords you want to use. And then I think you can download it as a CSV. So that's that's cool. So yeah, you can go down here, add the um, ones you want to use for articles and then 
download it and you've got a nice list of articles that you can work on or that you can send off to your writer or however you you know get your content created. So that's it. So there we go. I hope that's given you a few ideas in terms of how to do some keyword research and you're now gonna go off and do some of your own research to come up with some great ideas for content for your website. If you've got any questions or comments, then please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you on board. Please click on the eagle up there and click the bell to be notified of when I do upload some new videos. It tends to be every week. Here is another video chosen specially for you and that's my other channel. Go check it out. Until next time, bye for now.